Something. Yo, I'm Bob. Into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Masters of the Universe. Going to be opening up the final turtle in the uh, Fab Four. This is Michelangelo in the Masters of the Universe Turtles of Grey Skull line. Well, there, there'll be more variants coming out. I'll probably be picking those up at some point. Um, but this is um, Captain of Cowabunga, as, as he's dubbed himself. And from what I've read online, because I like to do a little bit of research on various uh, wikis and websites, if I can read about him first, just to see what's in the box, he's apparently uh, become a very big He-Man fan since he's gotten to Eternia. So he's uh, he's cosplaying, from what I understand, as, as He-Man. So... It, it does fit with Mikey's uh, love of comic books. I mean, if you remember in the 80s tune, he was a big Bugman fan. Uh, and in the, the 2003 show, he loved uh, the Justice Force. Um, liked all kinds of stuff in the, in the 2012 show. So it kind of goes along with... Uh, kind of goes along with Mikey. <laughs> I'm not sure what to expect here. I hope nothing falls out of the package. Oh my. Apparently you gotta put his shell on. Because his shell is... Looks like it's off of his back here. I'm just hoping nothing falls out. Okay, here we go. Uh... Oh. I didn't... I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't read about... I think he's wearing the wig. <laughs> okay, uh, that, that's that's interesting there, Mikey buddy. Um, I, I, well, I mean, He-Man's got long hair, so I guess I, that that makes sense. I, I'll buy that. Yeah, you know, go go ahead and get into your He-Man cosplay, buddy. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna break him out of the figure tray, and we'll get a closer look. Back in the blink of an eye. Oh boy. Okay. Um, the captain of Cowabunga, as he calls himself, he is out of his packaging, and I think, I don't know, I don't want to pick a favorite, but I love what they went with regarding Michelangelo here, because this is exactly what he would do. Uh, he would go all out when it comes to dressing up. Uh, I can imagine him just bugging the heck out of Man-at-Arms at one point in the comics, and be like, oh yeah, and then what did he do? Uh, what does he wear? And, you know, I don't know where he came by this wig in order to, to, um, to dress up like he man, but, uh, he's got the, he's got the wig on. It is removable. I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> There's the wig from the back. Of course, he's got his, uh, bandana tie going down the back as well. Um, and he's, he's got on... Shoulder armor, um, like Leo, he's got the the furry boots on. And they gave him two, two nunchucks, so that's pretty cool. I guess he really didn't want to uh, deck out his nunchucks. I, I guess these are probably just regular nunchucks. They don't really look like he's spiced them up or anything. Ten out of ten. Um, I, I I like the figure quite a bit. Let's see here. What else can we show? I think all of the turtles resonate with me in in different areas, and I think with Michelangelo, it's his love for fiction, superheroes, uh, scary movies, and I like that. Well, I'm guessing that uh, that they've pasted this big grin on his face, like this big smile, because he he's just he's having the time of his life. He's he's on Eternia. Uh, of course, he's got to do some fighting, but um, that doesn't stop him from uh, having fun when he's able to, because he's he's very happy-go-lucky. Uh, you know, in, in the TV shows, from what I've read about him in the comics, um, he just really likes to have a good time. So I, I really think he's digging the, uh, the cosplay here. <laughs> so 10 out of 10 for Mikey. Not much else to say. You can remove the shell uh, when you... 
take him out of the package, it's going to be detached and uh, right beside him, but it's no trouble just to plug it into his back. Um, I'm not going to have him hold his own shell as a shield or anything, but I like the nunchucks. I like that they're on plastic chains, so, you know, they're not just a couple of plastic st sticks attached to a, a rope that really doesn't move. Um, I mean, you can you can kind of pose the nunchucks and all that, but yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised that he doesn't have uh, some kind of nifty Eternian tech uh, grafted onto his nunchucks or something, but it doesn't matter. I, I think uh, nunchucks are nunchucks. I don't know if there's any way that they could uh, make them uh, more Eternian. Maybe with uh, the Mikey variants coming down the the line, he'll he'll have spiced them up a little bit. But 10 out of 10 for... Mikey, the uh, the captain of Calabunga, really digging the He-Man wig. I can imagine it creeping Raph out and him just kind of coming up behind him and taking the wig off. No, you don't be wearing that thing, man. Come on, take that off. <laughs> yeah, until next time, I think we'll be taking a look at Splinter Skull next time. He embodies the spirit of, of Castle Grayskull, and I can't wait to see what they've done with him. So, until then. Something in the middle,